Every year, thousands of families nationwide make the decision on whether or not to get their child vaccinated. People sort of underestimate the importance of getting the vaccines. James Burlett, a medical Hi doctor there. at McLean Ready Care, says vaccinations are known to be one of the main components of keeping communities healthy. If you were to go back two or three generations and talk to your grandparents or your great-grandparents, they would line up down the street to get the vaccines. But as fewer outbreaks of diseases occurred... You know, there are pockets in our communities where folks do not vaccinate, and that's our concern. Terry Adams, who works for the Michigan Community Department of Health, says she fears for those who are not vaccinated. Last December, the measles resurfaced after an outbreak at Disneyland led to various cases nationwide. Measles is a highly contagious viral infection, and if contracted, can be fatal. You can get encephalitis, which is a swelling of the lining of the brain, um, and that's what people generally will die from. Now with a viral disease such as measles or shingles, you can get the disease without physically coming into contact with someone who has it. Now with an everyday public item such as the shopping cart, measles can live on the surface for up to five days. Okay, so While it may seem obvious to get the vaccinations, some who aren't too fond of them, such as Luan Abram, thinks practices such as meditation can heal your body. We can really heal ourselves, you know, um, holistically, eating healthy, you know, all natural but of course also just meditating. At 14 years old, Abra moved here from Eastern Africa and decided against vaccinations due to fear. In the late 90s, there was a study that was published in a pretty um, high-powered uh, medical journal called The Lancet out of England. And in that study, they linked autism to the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. It caused a lot of fear and concern in Europe and in the United States, and people stopped vaccinating because of that. And while the study was debunked, the choice to get vaccinated remains a choice that many will not take. We always hoped we have a high enough rate of vaccination among the population to give us what we call herd immunity. A concept where at least 90% of a community is vaccinated to reduce the outbreaks amongst those who are not. For Focal Point, I'm April Jones.